Hi everybody, I'm Daniel Nguyen. I'm part of the incident response team at DCSO, a company in Germany, in Berlin. And I'm going to present to you a small tool that we developed to, to help our clients on large scale incidents for the project management team to coordinate, to centrally coordinate remediation actions and measures. So it is based on a project that we once had at our, one of our founders and we took it and uh, in uh, the last year, we worked on it to, um, to make a tool that is usable for our clients. And uh, okay, so first of all, what is the remediation about? The remediation is the final stage of getting the bad guys out of your network. So, and um, this remediation, you normally have to coordinate it centrally. So normally you do it from the headquarter of an enterprise and you coordinate all of your um, different locations, your satellite locations. And um, so how is it done? Usually you have a lot of coordination calls, a lot of conference calls. And well, a remediation can have up to 60 participants in a call. So we're speaking about different countries, different culture, different time zones, a lot of managers too on these calls. And um, so you're trying to steer such a complex project in all of these conference calls. So how does this work? So well, it doesn't work as well. And um, so we came up with this idea to have a tool that has high usability. Um, so it's based on Excel because um, while we analysts, we use Linux, most of the enterprises and managers, they use Windows and they have Microsoft Office installed. And so we use Excel and Outlook to generate emails and uh, status reports. And um, so this is a solution for project management, right? To coordinate actions. And I'm going to show you a video. No? Mm -hmm. All right. So, is it starting? A second. I think I have to go to the other side of the table so I can see what's going on. All right. All right, so this is the dashboard. Um, that we built in um, Excel, and um, this is the starting page. So we have all of the, um, we can choose the, um, the work packages over here and the location that we want to send the new status or the new um, work package to. So what are work packages? Work packages are the actions that uh, have to be done during a remediation to, um, to get rid of the attacker. So we so we create these work packages and we provide these work packages to the different locations. And um, so what this tool is doing is um, it relies on email to send these packages. So it's automatically generating this email. I will stop it for a second. So in this email you have um, links on the right hand side to reply with your new status to the PMO. You click on send, and what's going to happen is that uh, the the owners of the the or the location supervisors they will get this email. And as you can see, I just used some uh, trash email, throwaway email, to show that you can open this email with every kind of email client. So you don't have to use Outlook. So it's working with uh, every HTML 
capable email client and also on your mobile phone. So we get, we, we get the list of actions and we can just reply with the, with their status. So when we hit one of these actions, it's going to generate a new email and this email has a code to, to be passed by the Excel tool. So you just hit on send and that's it. So that's how you report your new status. And then this is my inbox. My, I have predefined a tracking folder which I, I watch, which the, the Excel tool is watching. And um, so I'm reading in every new status. So that's the new status that I got. Right. And then we can go back on, uh, on uh, import. And we click on Outlook import and then it's asking us some security questions, of course, and, and um, we allow Excel VBA to have access on our tracking folder. And you can see that it's just just imported um, the, the email, the status email with the subject code, with the status code, and uh, it's going to be passed and then actualizing the dashboard. And yeah, that's mainly the workflow. So it's super easy and um, um, you can use this on, um, since you can't have really good communication on a compromised infrastructure, you can use this on a on a out of band communication medium. Like you can just host email on uh, Office 365, or just use some uh, email provider that you uh, prefer, and it's going to work. So you're going to have um, communication during an incident, and uh, since it's very complex and you don't really have the time to set up a project management tool, it also saves you a lot of time because you will be able to. You know, it's just an Excel file that you provide. You can just send it to, uh, basically, to the project manager. And um, you don't need to set up any project management tools. It's very basic. And uh, yeah, like I said, every enterprise uses Windows. And well, that's it. So, yeah, I'm sure uh, if you got. I any... have one last slide. Oh, okay. I just forgot. Uh, it's not. It's just. A, it's a very important slide, I think. So I have to show this around. Uh, can I? Where's my mouse? Uh, sorry. It's available on GitHub, open source. Okay, thanks. Yes. I'm sure if, if you've got any questions, you can speak to Daniel around. The yeah, I'm having a denim jacket, and uh, if you have any questions, I'm happy to talk to you about it. Okay, thanks.